Hello, you guys. So, I'm going to talk about special triangles. It's called a 90, 45, 45 triangle. Right triangle, to be exact. Um, so, we're going to start off by reviewing what a right triangle looks like. And then talk about a 90, 45, 45 right triangle. And then let's do some practice with it to um, get acquainted with that ratio. So, let's get to it. All right. So, here we have a right triangle. Notice, yes, it has three sides, but a right triangle always has this little square in the corner. And now if it was flipped around, it might be in another corner, but we always have that square to show us that it is a right triangle. All right. Um, and again, a right triangle consists of a 90 degree angle and two acute angles. Okay, there's another right triangle for you. Remember when I say you can flip it around and it might be on the other side? Yep, and here's another one. See, um, these other angles are acute. It may be closer to 90 degrees, like this one right here, or it might be closer to 0 degrees, like this one on this far end. Um, but if we have one right triangle, one right angle, then we have to have two acute angles. Okay, because their sum has to be 90 degrees. All right. So, uh, a special relationship between the angles of a right triangle will present when, will be presented when an angles are 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and then 45 degrees. Hence why we say 90, 45, 45 um, right triangle. Okay, so with that special relationship between the angles comes a special relationship between the sides. So think about the side corresponding to an angle. So for instance, this 45 degree angle here will correspond with this leg here. And the other 45 degree angle will correspond with this leg here. Mm -hmm. Um, if they're congruent angles, then we also have congruent sides, all right? Which means they're the same length, same degrees. All right, um, let's get to it. Keep on going. So, for instance, let me go ahead and blow everything up. Um, let me actually label this triangle, too. So, if this was a triangle A, B, C, okay, angle B is 45 degrees. And the leg AC, well, that's X, okay? So if B, if angle B is congruent to angle C, then the leg AC is congruent to the leg AB. All right, meaning they're the same lengths. Hence why we have X on both of these, the same variable. All right, so let's look at this 90 degree angle. Look at this ratio. So this ratio is x, x, and then the leg, not the leg, the hypotenuse will be x, uh, the product of x and the square root of 2. Okay, so it's a little bit larger, longer in length than the other sides here. Okay, um, let's go a little bit further here. All right, so let's practice this. Now, remember, we have the ratio for a 90, 45, 45 to be x square root 2, x, and then x, okay? So, with this triangle here, we have a right triangle, 45 degrees. So, you know what? If I'm trying to find this other missing angle... I know that we already have a 90 degree angle, so 180 minus 90, well, that's 90 degrees. All right, and then we have 45 degrees already given to us, so we're, let's subtract 45. Okay, so we're finding the difference in these angles here. You can see that's 45. Also, if we have a right triangle, you know that the other two are going to have to be less than 90 degrees. And they also have to have the sum of 90 degrees. And 45 plus 45 is 90. So this is a 45 degree angle. Okay. If you don't know, now you know. 
Okay, so we have the corresponding leg of this angle we just found to be 14. Okay, remember that previous um, image. If this is X, then this is also X because they're congruent. So this also has a measure of 14. Okay, so we have X check and we have x here now all we have to do is write in x square root 2 so what was x in our case for this example we have 14 and we're just going to put the square root of 2 and if you were to put it in a calculator it'll actually give you back the um, more approximate answer all right all right let's take a look at here all right, let's go ahead and fill in the other angle. We have a 90 degree angle given to us, which is by the square. Then we have a 45 degree angle. So we know that this other angle that is acute has to be 45 degrees. Okay, so we have a leg that is 5 degrees. Not 5 degrees. Whew, it is 5 in length. So if this is 5 in length, then the other one will also be 5 in length because they are congruent. Okay, and what do you think the hypotenuse is here? What do you know it to be? That's right, 5 square root 2. Alrighty. Okay, so here we're given the length of the hypotenuse and the two angles here. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill in that other angle because we know that because we know this is going to have to be a 90 45 45 degree triangle okay so let's go back to our since for instance so we have a 90 45 and 45 all right the corresponding lengths to these angles would be x square root 2 x and x okay so that's the ratio there so if we have the hypotenuse as 9 square root 2 so the general ratio would be x square root 2. So in this case, x is 9. All right. So we have 9 as x. So let's plug that in as the corresponding legs to our 45 degree angles. You're going to have 9 and then a length of 9. Whoop, there it is.